Thank you for the joy of the Lord is our strength. Oh, thank you, Lord. Ang sabi mo, pagdalawa o tatlo na nagtitipon sa pangalan mo, you are in our midst. And Lord, we're grateful, God. We love you. We honor you. You've been so, so good to us. So, so good. Dalangin namin, Lord, sa oras na ito. Right now. Right now, in the name of Jesus. Sabi mo, Lord, where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is freedom. And Lord, I sense today na you, again, gusto mong gumawa ng Himala. Lord, you, you long to, to show signs and wonders sa iyong mga anak, Panginoon. You want to let your people know that you are not a God made by men. You are God that made men. And so today, sa lahat ng mga nanonood, sa portals ng radio, television, YouTube, Facebook, Father, Lord, alam mo kung anong pangangailangan ng lahat ng nakakarinig, Panginoon, ng mensahe ito. Lord, the atmosphere is so good right now. Oh, we feel your goodness. Oh, we lagi naming ine-echo what the enemy meant for evil. You meant it for good. And so right now, sa pangalan ni Jesus, Lord, lahat ng today is engaged and connected in this service right now in this celebration of your word. Lord, ano man ang pangangailangan nila right now, ano man ang kanilang mga longings that they don't even know sometimes what they're looking for. Aligaga sila, Lord. They cannot find peace and happiness. They tried many, but they have not found that. Maybe some, someone today is sick. Maybe someone today, Lord, is having some difficulties sa kanyang, sa kanyang uh, relationships. Maybe there is a problem between father and, and son and, and husband and wife. Lord, hindi ka nagpunta sa lupa para pahirapan. Nagpunta ka para iparana sa mga tao ang iyong napakagaling at makapangyarihang pag-ibig. That, that liberates. So Lord, right now, in the name of Jesus, lahat ng may nararamdaman today, lahat ng may mga pangangailangan, I want you to reach Reach out your hands right now. Reach out your hands. Oh, rabababababa, sandalalaba, kira na Oh God, I call upon your name, the name that is above all name. And in that name, the demons tremble. In that name, Lord, sickness flee. In that name, Lord, all the blind and the weak and the sick makakatanggap ng healing. So right now, sa pangalan ni Jesus, in the name of Jesus, Lord, everybody, Right now, Lord, miskin malitang kanilang pananampalataya, but they're reaching out right now. Right now, Father, in the name, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, receive your healing right now. In Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, receive, 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 receive your healing now. Yeah! Hallelujah! 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 Lord, ang sabi mo, by your stripes, sa mga natanggap mong latigo, Panginoon, sa mga natanggap mong parusa, Lord, sabi mo, lahat ng yan are for our healings. Oh God, right now, sa lahat ng may nararamdaman sa kanilang katawan na, na hindi nila alam kung ano yun, but they feel something is wrong. And they are afraid, Lord, right now in Jesus' name. Give them the assurance, Lord, <laughs> that you are here. You are with us. Your presence is here. And so we release the healing power of Jesus. We command all powers of time. Leave that body in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. And Lord, I pray lahat ng mga anak mo na nauuhaw. Uh, those Lord who are struggling, pero they're saying, God, I need you. 
right now. Lord, right now. Lord, lahat ng mga anak mong nagre-reach out today. Tataas ng kamay, Lord. Nire-reach out ang kanilang mga kamay. Ang puso na nandiyan, Lord, I pray. Lord, let them <laughs> receive the Holy Spirit of God. Hallelujah! Receive! Be baptized! Be filled with the Holy Spirit! Randa, lalababaraya, lalabasanda! Ruya, lalabasanda, lalabasanda! In Jesus' name, receive the Holy Spirit right now! Oh, Holy Spirit of God! Oh! dalo sa isang party, sa isang kasalan, sa isang gathering. No, Lord, we're, we're coming sa house ng God. We're coming into His divine presence. And so today, Lord Jesus, open our eyes. Open our ears. Open our hearts. Lord, you are coming very, very, very soon. Oh, Maranatha, come, Lord. Oh, thank you, Lord. Lord, continue to bring us closer to you. Behold what manner of love the Father has given unto us, that we should be called the children of God. Thank you, God. Thank you, Lord. Lord, we pray that you now open our ears and our hearts as we receive your word. Thank you, Lord. Today, I can see a lot nagkakaroon ng financial breakthrough in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name. Lord, ang sabi mo, ang nagtitiwala sa iyo, ang gumagalang sa iyo, yung lahat ng ninakaw ng demonyo, ibabalik niya many times more. So, kapatid, open your hearts. You don't know, I don't know where the money is coming from, how you can solve that difficulty. But God knows. So, just access the bank of heaven and say, Lord, I look to you and say, I receive your blessings for my life today. Hallelujah. 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 Let's sing that all my life you have been, you have been faithful. I want us to worship God one more time. All my life you have been faithful. Come on, sing it, everybody. Lahat ng nasa radyo. All my life Lahat you have been so, so so good. Kung buhay mo, ang Diyos ay tapat. Hindi nagkukula. With every breath that I am made. Ooh, yes. I will sing of the goodness of God. Sing all my life. All my life you have been faithful All my life you have been so, so good With every breath that I am made Lift up your hands, lift up your hands, everybody I will say of the goodness of God
Everybody shout, I'm victorious. Amen. Please be seated. Ano yung lahat ng mga nandun sa inyong mga tahanan? You know, there's a lot of people na nanonood sa atin. Grabe, ang liit-liit ng kanilang uh, uh, pinanonoodan. Pero tatlongpong libo ata silang nanonood doon. <laughs> so many people. I am, di ko ma-explain yung aking feeling when I see some of the pictures. Grabe, ang liit lang. Tapos there are about 20 or 15 of them watching. You know, as a pastor, my heart overwhelms kasi meron talagang ganun eh. Yung talagang uhaw, kaya pinagpapala. Meron naman nandyan, nandyan na lahat. <laughs> Grabe, winawaldas pa. But of course, we have a free choice. You know, God will never, ever, ever force us to choose heaven, to choose life, to choose healing, to choose goodness. That's the greatest gift. But whatever you choose, make consequences. This is the age where man ay binigyan ng pagkakaton to make a choice. One day, the day of the Lord, He will make a choice. He will decide. <laughs> Wala nang, uh, excuse me, pwede bang mamiya pa, ay, I'm sorry. Wala na. You know, today, man has the ability to make choices. But you have to also believe and accept whatever choice you do may consequence. You know, and God, binigyan tayo ng napakalaking pagkakataon to be with a family, be with friends, be with a church. The Word of God was given to us, the book, to guide us. The moral law of God that says there is right and wrong in all humanity. That's always true. Alright? But, binigyan ka ng chance to make a decision. That's the greatest power meron tayo is to make a decision. Whatever you decide will bring happiness to you. So, lahat ng nangyayari sa buhay mo, you cannot blame God. Lahat ng nangyayari sa iyo is a product of your choices. Good or bad. But one day, when He comes, kaya pag binasa mo sa may the day of man, may the day of the Lord. The day of the Lord is, He, Siya po ang magdi-decide. When He comes, sabi ng Bible, lahat ng kaaway niya will be destroyed by the word of His mouth. Wow! Ngayon, pwede pang, ay, sir, sorry po. Ay, pwede po ba patawarin niyo ako? Bukas na bukas po, papalitan ko na po yung aking student permit sa driving. <laughs> ay, ay, sorry po. Uh, naku, hindi ko alam. You know, meron pang mga negotiations yan. Uh, nagkakasunduan. Sige, babayaran mo na lang ako after two weeks. Naku, ang tagal na singilan yun. What you do with your body, it's your choice. You bring happiness or pain based on your choice. So, ang sinas, I'm, I'm feeling in my heart kasi there is no reason na hindi ka sumaya. There is no reason na hindi ka uh, mapagpala. All of the, the dynamics of the creation of man binigay sa atin. But you have to make a choice. Alright? So, I'm very happy. So, sa lahat ng mga Bago lang nakatune in sa ating station today, sa mga radio stations natin that are watching us today, uh, listening to us today. Magandang magandang umaga po. Ito po si Pastor Ancho, ang inyong pastor. Oh, hindi nyo pa alam? Well, alam na ho I'm your pastor and I love you, right? And uh, makinig po kayo dahil merong blessing si Lord to those who listen to the Word. Grabe, yan, may bahay, sa Bible, just listening to the Word, may blessing na eh. And then when you receive the word, another blessing. When you walk by the word, there's another blessing. Grabe si Lord. So sa lahat na na, no, 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 na sa DYSP today, 9.09 a.m., uh, we're on air. Uh, text po kayo sa 0927-8034-359 and tell them I'm watching. And meron pong sasagot sa inyo. And they will engage you kasi we value you so much, okay? I also want to greet my pamangkin who just... Kinasalho kahapon. Grabe, ang daming nanood. 
<laughs> Konting umaten dahil oh, mga all over the world nanonood sila kay So congratulations Patchy at saka Jay who just got with kahapon all right sa Light Church LCAC So God bless you kay Flor Venturillo who uh, are a friend of mine uh, and uh, are, are attending uh, our our Facebook live okay So sa lahat ng na na, na nandito Sabi mo sa katabi mo, sabi mo, I love you. Kaya lang hindi makita kasi naka-face mask ka, no? naka-face mask ka. Pero tignan mo na lang, hayaan mo yung mata mo. You know, uh, we, have, we have about, I don't know, we have about a hundred people here. Pero what is more important, yung kayo na nandyan sa mga tahanan nyo, na nanonood, I love you, and I think the word of God is gonna be... But by the, there are, my friend, in, uh, uh, in, uh, oh, in uh, Long Beach, California, you know, Sabi niya, 6.30 pa daw siya kaninang umaga, naghihintay. You know? Uh, so, ano bang oras yung 6.30 kanina? Ano bang oras na ngayon sa Amerika? But they're, they're listening, they're watching. My friend Jonas uh, in uh, Sacramento. We have a lot of our brothers and sisters sa Light Church London uh, watching us. Medyo madaling araw na roon. We have people in, in, in the Middle East. We have people all over the world watching us. Ang kakandahan po nang nangyari dito sa atin, we are... Limitedly unlimited. <laughs> feeling mo, naku, hindi ako makakalabas. You know, in fact, I'm very happy that uh, hindi na tayo confined sa malaking coliseum. You know, we're very happy na sa coliseum tayo. Thousands of people come. Pero hanggang dun lang yun. Pero today, uh, we probably have a uh, hundred here and maybe another 80 people doon sa AKC, doon sa San Manuel, uh, meeting there, and mga homes. Probably... I don't know, maybe we are we, thousands upon thousands of people. So God is good. Let's give the Lord a big clap. All right. We, we have been uh, talking about the activity of the Holy Spirit in the lives of the disciples. The book of Acts. Active Christians, terrorizing Satan. Nasa chapter 5 na po tayo. But I was reminded kagabi and when I woke up in the morning, sabi ko, Lord, ang gaang-gaang pagka ang spirito ay kumikilo sa buhay mo. You know, yung kabigatan, magaang. Yung mga seemingly parang masalimuot, lumuluwag. You know, and, and many of us wanted to makahinga man lang. You know, pagod na, pagod na ako. At marami dahil dito sa pandemic na ito, our, our feeling nila, yung claustrophobia, yung feeling nila, hindi ako makalabas, I need to go out. Especially kung ang buhay mo is the gimmick outside. You, you feel so confined. You, you feel so so depressed. While the others, sa depression mo, the others are happy. What's the problem? Ano kayong problema doon? No? Uh, it, it's, it's because I feel we, tayo po ay medyo nalihis eh. Tayo po ay medyo nagkaroon ng maling mga value system. Value system. Di ba? Uh, Kung ang, ang binavalue mo ay family, man, you want to go home early, you want to talk to your children, you know, pero kung ang value mo, yun know, happiness, iiwanan mo yung anak, sawa mo, yung anak mo, yun know, ang makikipag-inuman ka, miski kailangan ka ng mga anak mo, you, you'll go there because if you value more yung, yung saya kesa sa family, definitely, yun ang bibigyan mo ng pansin. You know, if you value ang pera kesa sa moral value ng mga pamilya mo, it's okay. You know, you, you lose money to make friends with people na magbibigay ng, ng satisfaction sa iyo lastfully. You know, and you don't care whether ito ay bata, boylet, or girlet. You don't worry. As you long as you can pay. Kasi your moral value, blah. But, but this is why magulo ang buhay ng tao. But uh, today, when the Holy Spirit, when the Holy Spirit, oh, Christ God, when the Holy Spirit begin to saturate our lives, something dynamic happen eh. Ako, I don't want to, I have not been drinking ano, no, uh, a soda for, for years. I, I have not drunk Pepsi, Coke, Diet Coke, uh, no, no sugar Coke. Uh, I don't drink uh, Royal True Orange. I, I don't drink those kasi it's not helpful. Uh, but when I was doing that, ayoko uminom ng Coke na matagal ng bukas kasi wala ng spirito. <laughs> diba? Yung walang pag-inom, oh, 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 napapaganong ka. Yung parang, it's just like water na may kulay, na may asukal. You know, you want to be able to... Yung pagbukas mo, medyo gumaganon pa. No? Ibang level eh. Uh, I, I don't know. Sino, meron ba sa inyong gustong minom ng, uh, ng uh, Coke na walang spirito? 
Alright. Kayong iba naglalagay ng kano ng spirito doon sa coke? <laughs> Para tamaan sila. Yang nangyari, talagang pagtapos yun ang uminom ng coke, may tama talaga. May tama. May tama dito. May tama. Alright. Uh, but uh, today, I want to speak about that kasi I felt so blessed early this morning, waking up na ang feeling ko ang gaang gaang. Oh, by the way, yung ating another station is online right now, DWIC, that's FM station, 94.3. Uh, wherever you are, if you are connected, please text us on 0917-861-0805. Text us, and uh, if whatever we can do to help you, we will help you, okay? Now, the Bible is very clear po. Ano? Uh, the Bible is very, sabi ng Bible, and, uh, and you shall receive power when the Holy Spirit comes. Pagkatapos po, hindi lang yun, ang, ang sabi ng Bible, uh, uh, in-explain ni Peter uh, kung bakit sila, you know, masyado silang excited and they're speaking and declaring and you know, talagang their the spirit came. Sabi niya, ano yan? Sabi niya, ah, ito yung pangako because sabi ng Bible, in the last days, I will pour out my spirit. I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh. You know, honestly, today, ang tingin ko sa maraming mga tao, hindi sila puspos ng spirit ng Diyos. Some spirit has taken hold of them. You know, uh, it's, it's, a, it's a depressing spirit. It's an angry spirit. It's a foul spirit. It's a spirit of lust. It's, it's, kaya, kaya today, when you look at the lives of people, grabe, because I, I, I realize this from the Word of God. If God is not taking leadership over your life, whether you like it or not, you have surrendered leadership to other leaders. May kanta nga si Bob Dylan eh. You will serve somebody. Whether you like it or not, this is Bob Dylan, a great you know, guitar, rock uh, uh, singer, very popular on the time ni Joe Rockhold. Oh, you're gonna serve somebody, man. You're gonna serve somebody. Either you serve God or you serve the devil. But you are never free because you will always follow fashion. You will always follow what people are doing. Yeah, uso ngayon ng mga may, may, may TikTok. Everybody goes TikTok. You know, uh, the dress style that you have, you are following somebody. All right? Uh, and so whether you're like, you, you are, you, lalik po kayong susunod sa mga passions and uso. You will serve somebody. And this is why ang sabi ng Lord, uh, uh, in the last days, He will pour out His Spirit. Now, this is not basta. This is the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit na nagbibigay gaang. You know, let, let's use the Spirit as, as air, Okay. Kaya yung buhay ng maraming tao, walang pag-usad kasi yung sasaka nila, flat. Walang hangin. Hindi makausad ang buhay nila. You realize, makakita kayo ng isang truck, grabe troso. Mga bakal yung kinakarga. Ang nagsusustain lang nun, yung gulong na merong hangin. The hangin that is inside the gulong, is what support the how many tons of bakal or troso or plywood na naroroon. Sorry? It does not matter kung gaano kabigat. Basta't meron kang spirit, you will move life forward. Hello. Very, very important na ma-realize natin yun. Yung iba naman, punong-puno ng spirit ng kayabangan. Di ba? Pare, ang hangin mo. Di ba? And of course, those people... Marami siyang mga fake friends. You know, pag ang isang tao mahangin, you know, tinatawanan ka, but they don't want to be close friends with you. Kung sinungaling ka, dalahira ka, you know, at natutuwa yung mga tao siya, pinagtatawanan ka, but they will never tell their secrets to you. They will never be close friends to you. Kaya marami mga tao, maraming friends sa Facebook. Sa Facebook. Nagla-like. But they're still po empty because wala po silang real, close, warm 
heart to heart person na you can be honest. Yung minsan hindi, hindi nahirapan tayong magpakatotoo kasi number one, eh, paano ka magpapakatotoo eh, hindi ka totoo? Maliit ka pa lang mamemeki ka na. Kasi takot kang makilala ka. But today ang beautiful thing about God, I tell you I I I felt so amazingly good and I think that's the message of God sa atin. Gusto ng Lord, tinanong niyo ako, gusto ng Lord pagaanin ang buhay mo at tulungan ka sa mga bigat na akala mong bigat pero sabi ng Lord I will be with you though you walk through the valleys of the shadows of death I will be with you ang sabi ng God He will sustain you in the times of trouble kaya nga I do not know and I'm trying to argue right now with you lovingly argue that you need to be filled with the Holy Spirit. You know, sa relationship na mag-asawa, kaya may awa yan, kasi hindi puspos ng pagmamahalan, puspos ng tampo, samaan ng loob, pag nag-usap yan, eh di ba, ginawa mo nung bago tayong kasal? Ha? Huh? Grabe, 35 years na tayong magsasama, ang binabalikan mo yung bago tayong nagkasama. At hindi lang yun, ang binabalikan mo, yung ex ko, na nakita ko lang, nang ngumiti ako, nagseselos ka na, eh 35 years na tayong mag-asawa. Kinwento po sa kanya ni Jorako, kaya po, kaya po natin. Na sabi ko. Ay, hindi naman sa kanya yun, sa mga taga Jensen. Alright? <laughs> so when I look at life, sabi ko, oh, nakuko! You know, uh, nakuko! Wal- wal- walang reason para ikaw ay mabigatan sa buhay kahit na napakabigat. Kaya nga naman itong, itong pandemic na ito, hindi, hindi ako nalulungkot eh. Now, of course, it's a problem. But alam mo, ako, ang belief ko, maliwanag sa Bible, what the enemy meant for evil. <laughs> ang mga tangka ng kaaway, tangka lang niya yun. Wala namang magagawa ang demonyo pag hindi nag-okay si Lord. Ha? Huh? Pag nag-okay sa Lord, ibig sabihin, alam niyang kaya mo. Ito, gusto ko maintain yung tungkol sa demonyo. Ha? Ang demonyo, limited sa kanyang kayang gawin sa'yo. Hindi kanya kayang patayin unless God allows. Or you are, this is now the consequence of your stupidity and, and, and it's, it's lumakpas ka na doon sa time frame ng God. Kasi God loves you, pero pagka sobra ka na, eh, the, the only right thing na mangyari sa'yo is you die. Alright? You die. Pero itong sumitin sa demonyo, ang demonyo, hindi siya katulad ng Diyos na powerful. Yung iba, mas takot sa demonyo eh. Di ba? Pag nagpilahan, ayuda o eternal life, pipila sa ayuda kaysa sa eternal life. Eh. <laughs> Pero kung tandaan sa demonyo, ang demonyo limited. At saka, ang demonyo, demonyo siya ng Diyos. Inaalaw ng demonyo, ng Lord, gawin ng demonyo ang gusto niya para ma-accomplish ng Lord ang gusto niyang gawin. Wala makakawa ang demonyo. Demonyo yan. Oh yeah, but God allows. Para ano? Para malaman mo, itong demonyo na nambubos ka sa'yo, <laughs> hindi ka kayang talunin yan. Kung, kung, kung mag-access ka ng binigay ko na sa iyo. Palakpakan natin ng Panginoon. Kaya nga, sabi ng Bible, maliwanag sa Romans eh, nothing will be able to separate you from the love of God. Nothing. Not death, not life, not heaven, not hell, Nothing. Pero how do you access that? Yun ang problema. Alam mo, pero how do you live a life like that? Alright? Kaya, I, I wanna segue on that note kasi alam ko, the Holy Spirit, we need to be filled. Kaya nang kailangan tayo ma- mag-guide ng Holy Spirit. Kasi I, I look at all of you, I love you, you're my family, you're, you're my ate, my kuya, my anak. Uh, you know, uh, like, gusto kong tawagin nga si Joe, Uncle Joe, you know. All of us is family. And if I'm, if ako tinalaga ng Panginoon bilang pastor, you are my sheep. You are my family. Ganun, ganun ako personal. Kaya minsan pag naalala ko, just a little bit, you know me, minsan, minsan nagkakasal ako, naiiyak pa ako eh. Bakit? Kasi kilala ko yung kinakasal ko eh. Kung ganong struggle, meron niyan dalawang yan. Pero nagtapat. So umiiyak ako, hindi dahil sa naaawa ako sa babae sa lalaki. Nangit ako, grabe, sa gitna ang kanilang pinagdaanan, eto nagsusumpaan sila na si Lord ang magiging Panginoon ng Lord. Kaya I, 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 you know, I, my emotion is there. I do not treat you as, oh, okay, oh, okay, okay, no, no. 
I think of you, I pray for you, and uh, th th that's why I, I preach like this. I don't preach. I want to talk to you how valuable you are to God. And that He promises that <laughs> greater is He that is in us than He that is in the world. Walang makakagapi sa yon. All right? So, that is the premise dito. That is the premise. That, that we need the Holy Spirit. Now, now we, go, we go to the, books of, the book of Acts and we realize, nung puspos na ang Holy Spirit, grabe, nag-iba yung buhay ni Pedro. Nag-exhibit ang wisdom. Dati wala siyang alam. Now he's speaking. Grabe, mga kausap niya, mga, mga member ng Supreme Court at ng, ng mga religious, but he was able to speak. Second, nag-operate sa kanya, boldness. Grabe now, dati siyang takot. Ngayon hindi na. And he will always attest that because of two things. The power of the resurrection ni Christ, wala nang ibang ebitensya pa na magpo-prove sa'yo na Christ is true. Naalala nyo, sabi ng mga tao nung time ni Christ, oh, give us the sign that you are the Messiah. Di ba? Sabi niya, well, destroy this temple and in three days I will build it again. Sabi ng mga, ng mga Jews, nung kusap nyo, nge, nge. 40 years binild yung temple, ikaw sabi mo, bak, sirain yung temple in 3 days, ibibuild mo. Pero hindi nila alam, ang sinasabi niya, at nasa Bible, he was not talking about the temple na was built for 40 years. He was telling them, the greatest sign that I am the Messiah is you kill me. In 3 days, I will rise again from the dead. So the greatest proof that all the promises ng Bible from Genesis until the time of Christ is totoo because lahat nyo na sinabi niyang, sinabi ng prophet, sinabi ng prophet, ako yun, ako yun. At then sabi niya, ito, ito ang pinaka, ito ang pinaka uh, 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 proof. Kill me, but in three days I will rise again from the dead. So resurrection is the pinaka apex, pinaka epic pinaka-watershed ng ating faith. In fact, we don't have to be here kung walang resurrection. Sabi ni Paul, para ano pang nag-uusap tayo rito? Eh, mamamatay din pala tayong lahat at sa impyano tayo pupunta. No, he's saying, dahil nabuhay muli si Kristo mula sa mga patay, walang problema na hindi mo kayang masolve. In fact, yung problema ng impyerno, yung problema ng kung anong kaya na niya at bubuhayin tayong muli, Dadalhin tayo sa langit pag mananampalatayo dahil na-conquer niya na ang death and hell. Kaya, why are you going to be afraid? Assured ka. And today, kunyari, dahil sa consequence ng buhay mo, you know, may sakit ka, batang-bata ka pa, grabe yung, yung iyong atay, ay na lang, ay. Patay na yung atay. You know, meron kang sakit sa baga. You know, ma mahina. You know, let's say, you're, yung, yung, ikaw ay larawan ng taong mamatay na. And maybe because wala, wala na talaga dahil consequence mo eh. Hindi <sniffs> 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 ka natutulog. Kumakain ka ng mga mali. Puyat-puyat ka. And then, tinamaan ka ng sangkaterbang sakit. At sabi ng doktor, naku. Grabe to. Meron kang sentence. Multiple death sentence. Hindi <laughs> ka na talaga mabubuhay. Tinaningan ka na. For, let's for, take for, yun na nga ang buhay mo. Pero you still, you, tinanggap mo si Christ, you don't still have to be afraid kung tinanggap mo si Christ. Bakit? Yung katawan na yan, nabubulok na yan. Sabi ng God, pag nanampalataya ka, bubuhayin kang muli at may bago kang katawan. <laughs> Nalala niyo, lalaki na kapako sa krus ng kalbano kasama niya? Mandurugas yun eh. Magnanakaw yun. Baka babaero, lalakero, manukero. Duro, nagsasabong eh, manukero, di ba? I don't know. Pero sabi ng Lord, today, mamamatay ka, mamamatay ka. In fact, they died earlier. Sabi niya, mamamatay ka. But you know what? Sabi niya, because you trust me, today, you will be with me paradise. So the resurrection, ang reason, second, kaya sila ganun katapang, ganun sila ka, uh, um, nag-ooperate sa wisdom, is because the Holy Spirit came upon their lives. At pangako din ni Jesus, Third, hindi lang sila nag-operate in, in, grabe, in wisdom, in faith. The healing took place. Grabe, the healing took place. Remember, chapter 3, chapter 3 na tayo. Chapter 3, di ba? 
Ang sabi ng Bible, sabi ni Peter, silver and gold I do not have. What me gusto mo. Hindi, hindi ko kayang isupply ang gusto mo kasi yung gusto mo hindi ng pangangailangan mo. Sabi niya, silver and gold I have none. But what I have, and that's what you need, I give unto you. Ang gusto ng baldadong lalaki, eh, ano lang, uh, limos. Yung makasurvive lang. Pero sabi ng Lord, hindi limos ang kailangan mo. Hindi yung pagkain lang, hindi ayuda ang kailangan mo. Ang kailangan mo, bagong isip, bagong paa. Lalakad ka, hindi ka gagapang. Alam mo, ang taong mga may sakit, curse yan eh. Di ba sabi niya sa ahas? Nakatayo dati ahas eh. Sabi, sinumpa ka at mula ngayon gagapang ka at ang pagkain mo ay likabok. Di ba? Kaya pag may mga magulang nagalit sa anak, sinusumpa kita, gagapang ka sa hirap. Si symbol, we know from the Bible, kamiskin ka nininiwala sa Bible, kinukot mo yung Bible eh. So, ang mga taong ganun, tinanggap na nilang baldado siya, pero sabi ni, sabi ni Peter, grabe, faith, ano? Nag-ooperate siya hindi lang sa wisdom, hindi siya lang nag-ooperate ngayon sa boldness, now may faith siya to heal. Sabi niya, silver and gold I do not have. Pero kung ano meron ko, ibibigay ko sa iyo. Anong meron siya? Sabi niya, sa pangalan ni Jesus, pananampalataya sa Jesus, tumayo ka at lumakad. So tayo, when, when we are filled with the Holy Spirit, we can, tayo, we can receive the healing power of God. Access mo. Or kung meron kang mga kakilala, lay, lay hands. Ang dami po nagtitext sa atin ngayon. Kaya ako nagpe-pray every Sunday. Ang dami pong nakikita yung aking pinsan sa, uh, uh, hindi ko alam ko, sa Anaheim siya. Nagpe-pray ko. Sabi niya, pinsan ko eh, ancho, sabi niya ganun, stretch ko yung kamay ko, gumaling ako. Grabe ko, hallelujah. At ini-expect ko in the next few months, manangka tayo mga nangyay. Sabi niya, ancho, hindi ko lang makamag-anak ko, ancho, patay na ako, nabuhay ako muli. Hallelujah, thank you Lord. Amen. Sabi niya, wala nang pag-asa, may cancer na, gumaling, kaya nang pag eh, eh, bah, Ako, ko sa, sabi ng Lord, anak, gusto mo bang makaranas ng mga himalay, mga patay, nabubuhay? Make my day, Lord. Yeah, why not? Walang limitations eh. But I'm, I'm going to allow God. Hindi ako ang healer. I'm not the healer. But I will pray for you. So, pagkati sa chapter 4, grabe iba ang nangyari sa kanila. Yeah. At chapter 5, kasi yun magkas- magkatabi, yung chapter 4, chapter, ang nag-operate sa kanila, discerning. Yung bang alam mo kung anong spirito ang nag-operate? Tatapatin ko po kayo ah. Misa kaya tayo naninoloko sa negosyo? <laughs> Kasi umuoo tayo, pero hindi mo alam, yung palang kausap mo, eh, grabe expert sa panggogoyo. Panloloko. Ang gagaling magsalita niyan. Minsan, kaya ka pumapasok sa mga relationship. Hindi mo alam, makala mo, grabe, nung nanliligaw, mukhang santo, nung, nung naging boyfriend mo na, grabe, may, meron, pala yung, meron pala yung tinatawag nating kambal, si satanas. But I mean, all of us, as as we, we have one thing in common. We we are humans that experience pain. Pero ilan sa atin ang nagoyo. So we we need to have the the ability to discern. And yan ang one of the nine gifts of the Holy Spirit. Discerning of spirits. Hindi ka tapat maloko. Hindi ka tapat naniniwala basta-basta. Di ba? Kaya importante po yan. Importante po tayo. Kaya gusto kong malaman yun. So, isa sa mga nangyari sa Acts chapter 5 na nabanggit ko last time, grabe, na-discern nila yung, yung pananakot ng religious leader. Sabi niya, huwag na kayo mag-preach, ha? Okay, palalayain ako, pero huwag na kayo mag-preach. Nag-operate, di ba sila? Sabi niya, hey, eh, kayo na ho mag-judge. I would rather obey man, uh, I obey God than men. Pinakulong sila. Pagkutin ng chapter 5, at uh, chapter 4, nakalabas uli sila. Nag-preach. At sabi nila, they were preaching the message of the full life. Dahil sabi ng God, if you read that in the account ng Acts, and I just wanna segue on that, sabi niya doon sa Acts chapter 5, go stand in the temple court, he said, and tell the people, mamansin ha, kakahuli lang sa kanila, inintimidate sila, pinipersecute sila, kinulong sila, <laughs> binuksan ng anghel yung kulungan, sabi, pangaral kayo the next morning, Sobrang hindi takot eh. The next morning, hindi yung, oh, hindi, early morning, nandun sila kagad sa temple and they were preaching. Ang sabi dito, and they were preaching the full message of this new life. Ito ang gusto kong sabihin sa inyo. Walang dahilan, look at me, walang dahilan na ikaw ay maudlot, 
mahirapan if you allow the Holy Spirit. Kaya pagdating sa chapter 5, meron isang nangyari na dapat nating bantayan. Si ang Holy Spirit, ang, 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 ang demonyo gusto niya manira. Now, let me segue. Remember in the book of Joshua, sa book ng Joshua chapter 7, yun yung time na grabe, dumaan na sila sa preparation, dami na nilang na, nagkawang para kay Lord, tapos, aatake na sila, nagpatuli na sila, nag-cross na sila ng river. Pero sabi ng Bible sa chapter 7, sabi, eh, pupunta tayo doon sa, sa AI. Sabi ng mga tao nila, oh, hindi na ho tayo kinakala magdala ng maraming sundalo. 3,000 lang. Pagdating sa, pinupunta sila 3,000, hinahapul sila nung kalaban nila. At I think, 60 plus people died. Karabing nalugmok si Joshua. Alam mo kung ba siya nalugmok? He fasted and prayed. Dala sabi niya, Lord, marinig po ito ng aming mga kalaban. And Lord, they will not be afraid of us anymore. At Lord, ba't mo po pa kami nilabas? Bakit po kinakalangan matalo kami? Kasi remember at that time, you know, uh, God wants them to conquer the land. Sabi lang Lord sa kanya, alam mo Joshua, walang problema eh. Sa inyo, ang problema, may isa sa inyo, may isa sa inyo, na hindi sumunod sa utos. Yung pinagbabawal na gawin, yung covetousness and greed, tinago niya yung nakita niyang mga pera at saka yung damit. Sabi niya, ganun po ba Lord? Yeah, kaya tomorrow, i-consecrate mo sarili mo. Dahil ibubunyag natin kung sino to. Pray sila. The next morning, tinawag bawat tribe. Itong tribe na to. Sa tribe na to, itong pamilya to, sa pamilya to, ganito. Meron isang lalaki ang pangalan si Achan. Sabi ni Joshua, para praising chapter 7, sabi, anak, ano tong ginawa mo? Natalo tayo, may namatay, ngayon hindi na tayo kakatakutan ng mga bansa. Pagtataman lang tayo nito. At paglulusog tayo, mamaniin tayo nito. Anong ginawa mo? Sabi ni Achan, natukso po ako. Nakita ko yung magandang robe. Nakita ko po yung pera. Kinuha ko. Nakatago po dun sa aking tent. Sabi ni Joshua, napakamali ang ginawa mo. Dahil sa iyong ginawang pagkakamali, ang spirito ng kaaway, ang spirito ng pagkatalo, ang spirito ng darkness has come into our camp. And it has brought shame on the nation. And they will no longer fear. And people died. Eh, ang ginawa nila, to rid of the sin, si Achan, kasama ng lahat ng kanyang mga ari-arian. Now, some state, kasama yung mga anak, kasi Achan and his family, they stoned him to death. And they died. Well, that is the price. Kasi, the nation is at stake. Because, grabe, nasa, nasa victorious match na sila eh. The momentum is with them. Gusto ng Panginoon, move life forward. Gusto ng Panginoon, pag nakikipaglaban ka sa buhay na ito na maraming issues, magaang, hindi natutuwete ka, naiinis ka, nadidepress ka. Hindi. Problems will come, but you will be above the problem, not beneath the problem. Yun ang gusto ng Lord. But, but Achan made a big mistake. Selfishness and good. That is what happened sa Acts chapter 5. Dire-diretso na sana eh. Piglang may isa na nagkamali sa kanyang greed. If you read in the Bible, ito yung story ni Ananias at Sapphira. In Acts chapter 5, let me read. Last Sunday, hindi ko to binanat, hindi ko to binanat, because I skipped this for this Sunday. Kita mo dito, Acts chapter 5, remember, Acts chapter 1, chapter 2, chapter 3, chapter 4, the movement of the Holy Spirit is powerful. nag operate na yung mga gifts ng Holy Spirit. Sa buhay mo, habang tumatagal ka sa panalang, mag operate sa wisdom and grace and miracle and, 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 and faith and uh, uh, interpretation of tongues, mag operate sa buhay mo yan. And uh, God will bless you. Tandaan nyo, ang pangako ng Lord, hindi ikaw puwet, hindi ikaw buntot, hindi ikaw kawawa. Sabi sa Deuteronomy, if you obey me, you will always be the head and not the tail. Come on, palakpakan natin ng Panginoon. And uh, uh, my life, you know, pulupurik ko ang Lord. 
Eh, sino ba naman ako? Eh, ako yung black sheep of the family. Ang dami kong ginawang kalukohan, ang dami kong pagnanak, pagmumura, ginawa kong kalaswaan. You know, and I'm the second to the youngest. But, but, but because I trusted the Lord, grabe through the years, I am very much respected ng aking mga family. Talagang ginagalang ko niya si, si Linda, si Emma, you know, mga, mga pamangking ko, mga pinsan ko. They, they respected me. Yung kaibigan namin yung tiga Amerika, si Baby Do, you know, mga mayayaman yan eh, mga pinsan ko yan na talagang tinitangal. Ngayon, he's also a Christian, he's, he's supporting me. And then, look at what happened to my life. Sino ba ako? Eh, bibit, bibit din ako eh. Look at Jora ko. Bibit din yan eh. Lamag rin sa hirap yan eh. And many of us, kung iisa-isahin ko kayo. But today, you know, you, you, kaya nga sa mga bata pa, huwag kayong magmadali. I have accepted the Lord when I was 17. Huh? 27 na ngayon ako. After 10 years. And then I have more years. 60 plus na ako. I have, I have many things to look back and say, God, you've been so, so good. God has been so good. You know, hindi, kasi pag marahas ka sa young life mo, made a lot of wrong decisions, many years after, broken family ka. Many years after, hindi ka na makakuha ng magandang talaga. Many years after, may magandang mapangit kang record. Many years after, meron kang guilt and shame na, nag, na nag-ahan sa'yo. Ako yun ah. So, I'm jealous for you. I want God to move. Pero, be careful, and we will read this now. Sabi dito, may isang lalaki na ang pangalan ay si Ananias. Verse 1. Nagbenta sila ng, sila ng asawa niya na si Sapira ng property nila. Verse 2. Pero hindi niya binigay sa mga apostol ang buong halaga ng pinagbentahan. At alam yun ang misis niya. Kunaiban, sa sabuatan eh. Sinabi ni Peter sa kanya, Ananias, bakit mo binayaang kontrolin ka ni Satanas at kinumuho, kinuha mo ang bahagi ng pinagbentahan ng lupa? Bakit ka nagsinungaling sa Holy Spirit? Bakit hindi niyo ba nakuha sa Tagalog, girl? Verse 4, bago mo binenta yung lupa, di ba sa'yo yun? Nung naibenta na, sa'yo pa rin yun, di ba? Bakit mo ginawa ang bagay na ito? Nagsinungaling ka sa Diyos, hindi sa tao. Nang narinig to ni Ananias, natumba siya at namatay. Oh, wow, nakakatakot itong verse na to eh. Natakot ang lahat ng nakarinig nito. Pumasok ang mga kabataang lalaki, binalot, binalot nila ang bangkay, binuhat at nilibing. Wow! I- imagine the God doing the Joshua spirit because you cannot tolerate sin sa life mo. Nang marinig ito ni Ananaya, uh, verse 7, after three hours, nang dumating naman ang misis niya, wala siyang kamalay-malay sa nangyari. Tinanong niya, tinanong siya ni Peter, sabi mo sa akin, sa Pira, Ito ba ang buong halaga ng lupang binenta mong inyong mag-asawa? Opo, yan po, sagot niya. Talagang nagkapagsabuatan. Eh di ba sabi ni, ni Peter, bago mo ibenta, iyo, walang nagpwersa sa'yo. Nung nabenta mo na, iyo pa rin, hindi ka pinwersa. Bakit nagpe-pretend ka? Wait, wait. Kaya sinabi ni Peter, bakit kayo nag-agree ng asawa mo na ites ang spirit ng Panginoon? Nandiyan na sa pintuan ng mga lalaking naglibing sa asawa mo at susunod ka na. Wow! Natumba agad siya sa paana ni Peter at namatay. Nang pumasok ang mga kabataang lalaki, nakita nilang patay na siya, kaya binuhat na nila ang bangkay palabas na inilibing sa tabi ng kanyang asawa. Napuno ng takot ang mga tao sa church at ang lahat ng mga nakarinig nito. By the way, that is the first time binanggit ang word church ni Luke in the book of Acts. The word church. Okay. Ano ang kasalanan ni Ananas Sapira? Number one, alam mo, contradiction eh. 
Kasi yung pangalan Ananias, the meaning of the word Ananias means Yahweh is, is gracious. The word Safira means beautiful. Eh, ang mga magulang, nagbinibigay ng pangalan yan because of what gusto nilang mangyari sa'yo. But the problem is contradiction yung kanilang pangalan, contradiction yung identity, contradiction yung gustong mangyari ng Lord sa'yo sa ginagawa mo. Hello? Alam mo kaya ito nangyari? Because chapter 4, last verse ng chapter 4, mayroong isang lalaki, ang pangalan Barnabas, nagbigay siya ng lupa eh. Nagbigay siya ng lupa. Sabi, remember, ang during that time, the people were so honoring God, they do not feel that their, their property, they started to give. Kaya everybody was happy. Walang, walang may pangangailangan. Hindi mo na kinakalaan ng ayuda gobyerno. Dito lang sa church, matutulungan ka. Yun ang nangyari, the powerful generosity. Generosity. You know, hindi big sabihin, uh, uh, mayaman ka, kundi, but you're willing to give and share. Kaya walang, walang, walang problema. At sobra namang nahipo ito si Barnabas sa chapter 4, reading that uh, sa chapter 4. Isa si Joseph na gumawa nito. Well, sa verse 35, ang mga apostol, uh, nagbigayan yung mga tao, miski mahirap sila ng kanilang mga ibinenta, uh, at, at ang mga pinagbentan, binigay sa apostol, yung mga apostol, dinistribute ng pera, depende sa kailangan ng bawat isa. Verse 36, isa si Joseph na gumawa nito. Isa siyang libita na pinanganak sa Cyprus. Tinatawag siya sa mga apostol na Barnabas. Naging kapartner to ni Paul, si Barnabas ang pangalan niya. Siya, siya kasi, nagbenta siya ng lupa at pinagkatiwala niya sa mga apostol ang pera. Now, knowing that, siguro dahil nakita niya na may nagbigay, siguro nakita niya kung papaanong grabe, the attraction of the people ay na kay, na kay uh, uh, Barnabas. You know? uh, nakita niya, grabe, uh, talagang bilib na bilib yung mga tao kay, kay Barnabas. No? Uh, ginaya nila. They pretended na yung kanilang offering ay yung lahat. Pwede naman nilang sabihin bahagi. What? Nobody. Nobody was asking them to give everything. It's yours. Pero ang problem, kasalanan nila, nagpretend sila na yun ang lahat. Second, gaya-gaya lang sila. Gusto lang din nilang mabigyan sila ng attention, yung attraction ba nasa kanila. Oo, delikado yan. Pride yan. You know, yung gusto mo, yung, uh, may, meron, nga, meron nga sa akin, minsan, may, gusto magbigay, provided, sasabihin ko, i-announce ko. Eh, huwag na lang. Kasi yung binigay mo, nalipahit na kagad yan. Hello? Okay. Di ba? Bibigay ako. Psst. Ay, nasa naman? Picture, 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 picture. Ang laki pa ng cheque. Eh, hindi naman tinatanggap yung ganong malalaking cheque sa banko. <laughs> Pero yung mali ang spirito. Nako mo, naintindihan niya yung ginawa ng Diyos, pero na-infiltrate siya kagad kasi hindi siya nagpalinis kay Lord. So he was starting to, they want attention, he want to impress people, he was dishonest, and he loves money. Greedy eh. Kasi hindi naman, prob- alam mo, ang, ang, ang ginudge ng God, hindi yung binigay mo, kung hindi yung nangyari sa'yo sa tinago mo. Wow, palakpakan natin ang Panginoon. Si Barnabas nagbigay out of love, out of commitment sa body of Christ, in response to the goodness of God sa buhay niya. Grabe, and he was very honest. Hindi siya pumapel. Hindi siya pumapel. And so today, gusto ko malaman, malaman niyo mga kapatid na niyo ako, Sinicheck tayo ng Lord. Alam mo, feeling ko, tuloy-tuloy ang move ng Holy Spirit. Miski sa buhay mo. Pero mag-ingat ka kasi ang demonyo gagawa. Gagamit siya ng yabang, pretension, greed, money, relationship para maudlod ka sa diretsyong takbo ng buhay mo. I, honestly, I, I wish, you know, wish ko lang, I am there to protect you. I will never be there for all of you. Number one, It's impossible. Kaya ang prayer ko, tinan niyo ko, ang prayer ko, sharing this word from my heart, I pray, gumawa ka ng tamang pasya. I pray, i-access mo ang promise ng God from the Holy Bible. I pray you stay in the life group that will protect you. Kasi pag wala kang life group, wala ka ng group, wala ka pang life. So, sino-sino sinasamahan mo, 
bad influence. Anong meron ka? Hindi life. But envy and yabang and death. So when Peter was operating po in the gifts of discernment, a prayer ko to ganito, Lord, bigyan mo ko ng spirit of discernment. Tinan niyo ko ah. Kayo, respect me. Thank you. Love me. Thank you. Pero alam mo kung ano ang ibig sabihin sa akin nun? Then I must be responsible for you. Kaya kailangan mag manalangin ako, mamuhay ako na pag nakita niyo ako, na encourage ka. In fact, yun madalas kong prayer, Lord, make me be an encouragement to people. Lord, let when they see me, they see someone they can trust, someone that can help them. I don't have the answer, God. But Lord, bigyan mo rin ako ng discernment kasi marami rin gustong gumamit lang sa akin. In fact, nagpapasalamat ako sa inyo. Miski meron kayong gustong ibenta, hindi nyo na ako binibentahan. Kasi para, kasi sabi nyo, siyempre, pag binili ni pastor yan, at saka pinumot ni pastor, eh, di kita tayo niyan. Buti na lang, hindi ako na, 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 na bumabaksak sa ganun mga ano. Ang dami ko mga kaibigan. Binibili ako ng kit. Ha? Sabi ko, no, bro, sorry ha, kasi I love you, but number one, hindi ako talaga tiyanong naniniwala niya sa mga kung ano-anong mga binibenta. Eh. Kasi kung talagang totoo yan, ang dami na dapat mayayaman. Ay mayaman lang, yung lagi nasa taas, yung sa baba, lagi mahirap eh. Di ba? Totoo to, totoo to. Eh pang-apat na totoo mo lang sinabi sa akin, nasa na yung tatlong totoo na hindi totoo. Di ba? Iba-iba ng product, nakuha nyo? Kasi number one, baka totoo yung prada, kaya lang gusto ng madali ang pera nung medyo hirap na nawala na. Kapasalama. Kaya ako, gusto kong sabihin sa inyo, ayo ayo kung magamit ako ng mga tao para lang masabi ko sa inyong gawin nyo ito. Kasi siyempre, meron akong konting influence over you. And I, I, res, I understand that. But my love for you is such that I want to have the discerning of the Holy Spirit. Kaya, bakit? Number one, itong life church, gusto ko ito pag tinignan ng Diyos, natutuwa ang Diyos. Gusto ko pag tinignan ng Lord ng Live Church, sabi niya, ito yung aking mga anak. Gusto ko pag tinignan tayo ng Lord, ibinubuhos niya ang pagpapala, hindi galit at sumpa. Dahil kayo, na, na, na pamilya dito, ang gusto ko, lumalakad tayong lahat. Kayo na nanonood ngayon at nakikinig sa, sa, sa radio, television, gusto ko malamay, very, very important po kayo. Hindi ko man po kayo kilala. Maybe first time po. Gusto ko malaman nyo. God loves you beyond any doubt. Namatay siya sa cross ng Calvary. And that's why, kung kayo po ay gusto magkaroon ng connection at gusto nyo makilala ang Lord, give us a text. We want to help you. Kaya all of you, ay, lalo na kayo mga batang-bata pa, you know, if, if, if I am your age right now, grabe, talagang sus. So, so, solong ko ang buhay ko for the love of God. Bakit? Kasi nakita ko na yung maraming mga naglingkod kayo. Kakanta ng mga buhay eh. Plus, yung peace na meron sila. Yung, yung, yung pagkatao ba, parang feeling mo, kagalang-galang, hindi yung matanda nga, miski may pera, pero alam mo, <laughs> yun, buhay pa yan, pero mukhang inuud na yung kaluluhan niya eh. Sa yabang at saka sa pananakit at panggugoyo. Si pag ang pera na agamin na kuha mo yan sa pandaraya, you are not happy. The money is killing you softly with this song. So I, I, I want to close by saying, I want the Holy Spirit. Di ba, nag-start ako ng, in the last days, God will pour out His Holy Spirit. Why? Kasi gusto ng Lord mag-operate tayo in faith. Krabi, wala kang takot, may pananamla. Boldness, krabi, you can speak, be honest, and then you can operate in the gifts of healing. Dito kasi nag-operate ang discerning. Now, when you go to the whole chapter, ay, 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 baka tapos sa'yo natin, when you go to the whole chapter, nag-operate ang miracles. Kasi pag binasa mo yung, pag binasa mo yung uh, uh, verse 12, matapos na na-cleanse, na-linis ang simbahan from pretensions, and greed, and love for money, and, and pakita lang, pang-panglabas lang, at walang katapatan, sabi ng verse 12, gumawa ng maraming himala, at nakakabilib na bagay ang mga apostol sa harap ng mga tao. Grabe! A prayer ko ito, really. Kaya nga, I'm, I'm downloading sa inyo, making you aware. Ang prayer ko, look at me, ang prayer ko. Ang prayer ko, in the next weeks or months 
I want to see miracles happening sa buhay ng mga taga Life Church. Sa sobrang power ng Holy Spirit, grabe. Anino lang ni Peter? Anino lang ni Peter? Look at the Bible. Sabi ng Bible, oops, huh? dahil sa verse 15, dahil sa mga ginawa ng mga apostol, dinadala ng mga tao ang mga may sakit sa kalye. Nilag, nila, nilagay nila ang mga ito sa mga higaan at mga banig para tamaan man lang sila ng anino ni Pedro pagdaan niya. Dumating ang maraming tao na nakatira malapit sa Jerusalem. Dala nila ang may sakit. Oo, sinasapian ang masamang spirito at gumaling silang lahat. I long for the day. Eh, kagandahan nito, ang sa Bible, walang, walang super pastor. No, I'm not the super pastor. Ang goal ng God is the disciples. Kaya yung ating mga primary leaders, I'm charging you. Yung mga 144, you have to care and have a cell group. Kung cell group member ka naman, be faithful and learn. Because one day, the Holy Spirit will not stop. It will move. The Holy Spirit will bring you, listen to me, to the point where you want to be led. Walang limitations ang Holy Spirit. Madalas kong sabihin, there is no limit of what God can do to a dedicated, concentrated man or woman of God. Si D.L. Moody, krabi, hindi naman nag-aral yan. Oh, he became one of the greatest evangelists. Hindi aral yan. Huh? Uh, pero siya nagtayo ng Moody Bible School and Moody Bible College and Moody Printing Press and he became one of the greatest evangelists of all time. Hindi ka na kailangang aral ka, pero dapat nag-aaral ka. Hindi ka na kailangang ang galing mo magsalita kasi may mga speaker na uh, 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 utal eh. Katulad na sinabi ko, yung paborito ng aking asawa, si Smith Wigglesworth. Hindi makabasa yun. No read, no write. <laughs> Supernatural ang healing. Grabe, mga patay, pinubuhay niya, sinasampal niya. Missing sa pangalan nito. <laughs> Nabubuhay. You read the annals of the miracle of God kay Smith Wigglesworth. Hindi siya makabasa, pero sabi niya, Lord, hindi ako makabasa, pero inihiling niya kay Lord, Lord, pwede po ba pagbukas ko ng Biblia, bigyan mo ko ng talang makabasa. Ang nababasa lang niya ang Bible, hindi siya makabasa ng iba. So, anong, anong limitations meron ka? Wala. Wala. Kaya nga, you know, I want to say to you as I close, this is life. Woo, hallelujah. This is life. Ano, ano yung message, di ba? Sabi ng Panginoon, look at that again. Oh, uh, sa verse, sa verse uh, 20, pumunta kayo sa templo, sabi ng Panginoon sa kanila, pumunta kayo sa templo. At sabihin nyo sa mga tao, ang mensahe tungkol sa bagong boy, this full life, full life. Kaya ako, this is life. Oh, we have, do we have problems? Yes. Do we have issues? Yes. Pero to me, it's like, my God, I am so assured of eternal life. My God, you have blessed me. My God, I know I'm going to heaven. My God, I know all of the guilt and the shame na misan pag naisip ko, nahihiya ako sa sarili ko, pero pinatawad mo. At hindi mo na naaalala. My God, you've given me a family. You've given me a church. You've given me respect. You, you, I'm still alive today. You know, I can drive a car. People respect me all over the world. I can travel. Doon. Sabi ko, God, ano pa nga hanapin ko? This is life. God wants us to live an abundant life. Amen. And that is not only for me, for you. Wala na kayong mga young people. For you. Be faithful kay God. You will even surpass what your pastor is experiencing today. Some of you will build buildings, some of you will be billionaires, some of you will travel the world, some of you will become pastor's wife or pastor or director or as- astronaut. Bahala kayo kung anong gusto nyo. Because there is no limit of what God can do if you dedicate your life. So, kung anong mararating mo today, it's not God's fault. It's your consecration. Kung anong mangyari sa'yo, you made a choice. Pero pag sinabi mong, Lord, patay kung patay. Lord, for me, to live is Christ and to die is gain. 
Lord, my life, my family, my ari-arian, my money is yours. Use me. Oh, wow. I'm feeling good today. Gusto, gusto ng Lord. In fact, at the last book of chapter 5, pinersecute na naman sila. Pero alam mo, sabi nila, they don't worry, they just pray that sabi nila, nilati ko pa sila eh. Pero sabi nila, Lord, salamat. We are worthy that we became worthy to share your suffering. Sabi ng tindi nito mga to. No, look at the last verse ng Bible. Look at the last verse ng Bible. 41, umalis ang mga apostol sa harap ng council at nagsaya sila kasi tinuring sila ng Diyos na deserving dumanas ng hirap alang-alang kay Kristo. Nakalagay sa akin, wow! Ang comment ko, wow! An honor to suffer for Jesus. Look at my work. Wow! Look at God. So ngayon, I'm not afraid to suffer. It's an honor. And then, of course, ang last verse. <laughs> araw, araw. Sila'y nasa temple at sa mga bahay-bahay. At hindi sila tumigil sa pagtuturo at pagpipreach ng magandang balita. Look at that. Tungkol kay Kristo. I want to pray for you right now. Sa mga nanonood, makikinig, nasa radio, nasa Facebook, nasa YouTube. sin any sickness any oppression walang power kay Jesus but are you willing to access binigay na sa yung susi are you willing to open the door and say God come into my life I will pray and then we will take an offering we will pray I want to pray sa lahat ng nakikinig today. At nararamdaman ko makatok si Lord. Bro, ate, nai, sister, your sin is not an issue. Yung ginawa mo is not an issue. Alam ni Lord yun. Alam ni Lord. And He never condemns anybody. Yung babaeng nahuli, nakikiapid, tapos binato nila sa harapan ni Kristo. Ito, 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 dapat ito batuin. Sabi ni Christ, Una kayong bumato. Walang bumato. Naiwan yung babae. Sabi lang ni Christ, go and sin no more. The acceptance. And that became, that's Mary Magdalene who became a follower of Jesus Christ. So ano man ang sakit, ano man ang nagawa mong problem sa family, sa sarili mo, may forgiveness, may healing. Ang gagawin mo lang is to acknowledge, God, I made a mistake. I sinned, mayabang ako, discarte ko, and then ask Him to forgive you. If you believe in your heart, He will forgive you. And then a next level mo to say, God, I, I want to change. I want to be different. I want to be true. That's why you need to call. You need to connect. Because grabing gustong gawin ng Lord at mag start yan when you acknowledge Him to come to your life. Dire-direcho na yan, bro. Ate, kuya, nanay, tatay. So, namatay si Cruz, si Lord, sa Cruz for you. So, let's pray. I wanna pray. Taas mo kamay mo. Today, the Lord is here. Dakilan Diyos, pinubuksan namin namin mga puso. Nagkasala kami, Lord. Nagkaroon kami ng mga maring malim nga pasya. Pero today, we ask you to come to our hearts. And from today, help us to walk right. Thank you, God, for your forgiveness. In Jesus' name. Sa mga iba sa inyo na, maybe you're saying, I'm not prepared. It's okay. No, 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 no hurry. But you must make a choice because time is not on your side. Sa mga today, you know, na may mga problema, I want you to know, Lift up your hands. Lord, ano man ang pinagdadaanan nila, katulad ng prayer ko kaninang umaga, kanina lang. Lord, iparamdam mo sa kanila that you love them. 
At pagbukas ng nila mga puso, let them hear the word so that be, they will be changed in Jesus' name. Alright. Talagpang atin ng Panginoon. Amen. Alright. Alright. It's giving time. You know, uh, I, I like I like to do is now kasi na-realize ko yung pag in honor mo si Lord sa yung giving, He will bless you. I, I appreciate the family ng 187. This is, this is the Baluyot family. And uh, I want to give, uh, let's prepare for our tithes. And tithes is 10% of our income. Our offering is over than that, over than offering natin. And then you, if you want to have, meron kayong pledges, you know, may pinangakuan kayo, sa mo, susuportan mo to. Or meron kayong mga desire to give your first fruit, do it. Kasi God will bless you. Alright? Taas mong iyong kamay. Ang prayer ko sa lahat ng magbibigay today, in the name of Jesus, Lahat ng mga gustong sumira sa iyong kabuhayan, sa iyong pananalapi. The devourer, tawag ng Bible, papaalisin natin yan. And we will pray a full blessing in God's name. Are you ready? Are you ready? So lahat ng mga nasa bahay, you know, uh, taas nyo yung inyong offering. And tawag nyo sa amin o nasa live group kayo. And we will collect that. Or nakalabas ata yung kanating mga, if you go online, you wanna do online, please do so. But I wanna pray sa lahat na magbibigay today sa lahat na magbibigay today that's God will open the windows of heaven sabi ng Bible give your tithes and God will open the windows of heaven to pour out His rumaragasang pagkapal are you ready today? lip up, lip up everybody lip up takilan Dios, we thank you for the tithes our tithes Isayo ito, Lord, you give us lakas at pananalapi. We give you our tithes. We give you our offerings. We give you our pledges. We give you our first fruit. In the name of Jesus, Lord, lahat ng mga anak mong nagbibigay, in this moment, i-bless mo, Lord. I-bless mo, Lord. I-bless mo, Lord. Pinalalayas namin ang sumpa ng kahirapan. Pinalayas namin ang lahat ng mga devourers na gustong sumira sa kanilang kabuhayan. Lord, I pray, pakita mo, ang nagtitiwala sa iyo, pinagpapala mo. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Alright, please give your offering. Can somebody come and take this from me here? Thank you. That is good. Alright, uh, after this uh, song, no, we will ask uh, Pastor Joe to pray for you and close us in a word of prayer. Kayo ba'y pinagpala? Amen. Talang palang pangani pa Lutin natin, kayo ba'y pinagpala? Kayo ba'y lalakad sa katotohanan? Share mo now the message. Let's sing a song.